If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in purchasing some closed loop hybrid stepper motors and drivers. So I've done that recently. I'm really glad I did. I plan on using them for a milling machine conversion project. But there's a whole lot of information that I wish I had before I bought these. And I've been able to gather all that information together. So I thought I would make a YouTube video, put it out there. So if any of you are interested in buying these, you won't have to search all over the internet to find all this stuff. Maybe you'll you'll have it here. You'll have a leg up and uh, you, know, you can have it right from the get-go. So this is the video with all the information I wish I had when I got started with these. So the very first thing, I'm going to talk about how to buy these things, where to buy them, uh, a little bit about power supplies and uh, voltage types. I'm going to talk about the documentation and the support that uh, comes from the seller and then I'm going to talk about uh, changing the settings and programming and, and tuning these drives and the software and all that stuff so let's get started so first of all how to buy if you jump on eBay and type in uh, closed loop stepper the first seller that pops up is probably going to be the seller called fast to buy and I'm going to go to their store now they also have their own website you can go to the fast to buy website but um, you're probably better off just sticking with eBay so here's their store and it's really they have a lot of graphics but there's no hyperlinks or anything to take you to product so click on one of these pictures and then on the left side of the screen you'll have some menu options uh, choose closed loop stepper and then you'll see some kits and let's see if I can find I think I skipped past it there it is here's the kit so this is one of those op sell or auctions where you um, have to choose a bunch of settings so you have two options you have NEMA 23 and NEMA 34 so let's look at the NEMA 23 first choose NEMA 23 you can buy the power supply right from the seller. I personally, I would recommend doing that so you don't have to worry about um, sizing things. Just say yes, pick the power supply. And then under model, you have two options for NEMA 23. Uh, the first number is the driver, HPS860H. That's the driver. The second item here is the motor. So this is the 2.2 motor. This is the 3.0 motor. So 2.2 newton meters, 3.0 newton meters. I bought the 3.0 newton meters, though that I believe is about 425 ounce inch. If you you need more than that, um, go to NEMA 34, and then you can either have a four and a half newton meter, eight and a half newton meter, or 12 newton meter motor option. Uh, I actually I bought the 12 newton meter motors for my Z axis, which is probably in hindsight that's probably much larger than what I really need it. Um, that's what I did. I think 12 newton meters is like 1600 ounce inches. So, all right. So that's where you go to, to buy these things. So let's talk really quick about power supplies. If you go with the NEMA 23 option, you're going to get a switching power supply with the uh, kit. I believe it's a 36 volt switching power supply, which is fine. I, I think a lot of people are using switching power supplies for their CNC conversions. I've used several of them and I've never had a problem and these are the power supplies that the the sellers you know uh, bundling with this so it's you know you're, it's probably a safe bet for the NEMA 34 motor so you pick NEMA 34 power supply yes go with the big one instead of getting a switching power supply you're going to get uh, one of these it's, it's basically just a transformer so this confused me. I couldn't. I didn't understand. All the other stepper motor drivers I've ever used required DC uh, current, direct current, and I was a little confused by this. Why they were just giving you a transformer, which would, on its own, would just give you AC current. So I, I actually did not buy the transformer from the seller. I I went to a different seller and bought a, a 60 volt uh, switching power supply. But in hindsight, I should have just purchased this uh, big transformer from the seller, and I'll, I'll tell you why. The driver, uh, 
these drivers are like a little more advanced than maybe the little, um, what are they, DM542A stepper drivers. This driver actually will accept uh, AC or DC voltage. So it'll accept 20 to 70 volts AC or uh, 30 to 100 volts DC. So that's good to know. So I didn't know that. I didn't understand that when I bought these. So that'll save you a little bit of aggravation. So, all right, so you, you buy them, you get them, they show up. Now you, you want some documentation. A lot of information is printed on the side of the, the driver. And normally when you buy the, like any other stepper driver, you pretty much you don't even really need documentation. You can kind of just read the, the front of the case and change some dip switches and you're good to go. These drivers are not like that. They're a little bit more complicated. Um, not everything is set with dip switches. So I reached out to the seller and the sellers were very good. They were very attentive. They answered all my questions very quickly but they're you know they're Chinese and uh, all the documentation they sent me was Chinese so the documentation they sent me looked like this uh, which was really hard for me to read I they offered to translate for me or answer any question that I had um, I use Google Translate on my my smartphone I was able to read what I needed to do enough enough to get it hooked up but um, you know I had a lot of questions and basically, the, the biggest question I had was like, hey, how do I know these are set right? And their answer was, you know, they're set from the factory. Everything should be good. You know, you don't have anything to worry about. Um, so, you know, I was able to read the front of the case to get the steps per rev. That was easy. Um, I was able to read the front of the case to figure out, like, SW5 changes the direction of the motor. Um, what wasn't here, there were no settings to change like the current settings. So that's usually a, a setting on stepper motor drivers you're used to having. You flip some dip switches to select current. There are no dip switches to select current. What there is is a dip switch. It's SW6. It's motor select. So they give you an option like there's one motor model number or another motor model number. So when you look at it, it like it's like to me what I interpret it was like this dip switch is really important. I really got to make sure this is set right. Otherwise, I might burn my motor up or be running too much or too little current. So I emailed the seller and they basically told me they're like, uh, it's set from the factory. Don't worry about it. Everything's set from the factory. So I, I don't know, I was, wasn't quite satisfied with that. So I started doing a bunch of research. I'm, I'm like, I need to, I need to know more about these things. So what I found was this driver I believe is basically a no name version of this lead shine driver. It's a no name version of this HBS 86H driver. And I found this website and they have a data sheet. They have actually have the software too for the driver. Um, so I was able to, once I knew what the, what it was in lead shine form, get this data sheet and read it. This told me a lot more about it. And it was, you know, answered a lot of my questions, but uh, still, you know, didn't answer everything. So what I believe I've ascertained from looking at all these things, you know, most of the, most everything's pretty straightforward. This SW6 where it says motor selection, this particular version of the documentation says that it says ignore the printed information on the drive or cover. It has no effect. You can tune the drive according to different motors. So. Some of the documentation I read, uh, it does tell you that SW6 makes a difference. This documentation says that it does not. So I'm, I'm going to go with the, the notion that SW6 doesn't make any difference, that it's all set through the software. Um, I might not be 100% right on that, but that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, incidentally, um, if you're, let's just say, for instance, you do choose, let's say the setting does make a difference and you are sending too much current to your motor, what's going to happen is the temperature is going to get too high and you that's a pretty pretty good tell that you're uh, sending too much current to your motor. So your stepper motor should run between like 140 or up to like 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So as long as you're, you know, you can measure the temperature of the motor, you're, you're probably going to be okay. 
uh, it'll help you to make sure you're not burning them up. So, all right, so there we go. So that's that helps you get a little bit closer, um, but there's still some settings you want to change. So a lot of the settings on the driver are controlled through software. So if the, the, the people that sell you these will preset them, and their, their settings are probably, you know, good enough. Um, but if you want to change the settings, you're going to need this little cable. So the fast-to-buy people sell this cable. It's not a whole lot of money. You'll need to buy one of those. You're going to need a computer with a serial port. I have an old XP computer. That's what I use. And then you're going to need the software. I was able to download an English version of the software from this website. It's Leadshine Software. It, it worked fine. Um, just so you know, you are going to need, I think, 7-zip to decompress it. It's a, a .rar file format. Um, I'll put all these data sheets, I'll put the software, I'll put everything out on Dropbox um, so you can get at it. I'll put a hyperlink in the description of this video. Uh, so, okay, so you got the driver, you know what power supply you need, you have some documentation, you have your cable. So, the last part of this is using the software. Um, I was fortunate, I was able to find uh, directions for the, the software. And I will also put that on Dropbox. So this, this software is really cool. It lets you, um, you can basically click this little icon and it will read all the settings from the driver. You can save those. You can back them up on your hard drive. Then you can get in and change those settings. The only setting I really wanted to change was the holding current. I didn't want it to be uh, 40%. I knocked it down to 20%. And I believe these are 8 amp drivers. So um, I guess this driver is capable of sending up to 8 amps to the motor. I think the way this driver works I think it actually senses how much current that it needs to send to the motor, and I think that's why it's not such a big deal like setting the current settings, whereas you know the, the cheaper open-loop stepper motors, that's a big deal. you got to set the right current, dip switches. These drivers are more intelligent. I, I actually think they're compensating on their own, so they, they are intelligently deciding how much current to send to the motor. That's my theory. I don't know. Maybe someone out there knows better than I do. You can correct me. Anyway, this is the software, this is the manual, it explains all these settings, um, it works really well. So I will put all that out in Dropbox, you can uh, check it all out. Uh, if you want to change things like change the active high or active low for the fault settings or the enable settings, you can do all that through here. There's some really nice diagnostics, you can actually tune the motors, um, it has I think you can actually plug into these motors while they're they're running a CNC program and actually see how they're performing. So the software is pretty cool, but I would definitely back up the factory settings before you before you get into that. All right, so that's uh, everything I wish I knew about these before I bought them. I hope you find this useful and helpful. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and please always be very safe when you're working with this stuff. Okay, have a great day.